people. You get to see what other people from different parts of the state are doing, and you get to take home what you like. That's how we stay up to date, and that's how we keep getting better. Reporting in Ariscany, I'm Shelby Pay, Eyewitness News. Starting today, the application period for those wanting to enter the cannabis industry begins. But our Capitol correspondent, Jamie DeLine, telling us there is a deadline for this round of licenses. From now until December 4th, those wanting to enter New York's cannabis industry can apply to do so. Uh, we're expecting tens of thousands of applications uh, from all over the country. Uh, to try and, you know, uh, start their businesses here in the great state of New York. The Office of Cannabis Management is looking to distribute between 1,000 to 1,500 adult use cannabis licenses. Of those 1,000 new licenses, half of those, you know, are new retail dispensary licenses. Obviously, we need a lot more stores around the state. Uh, we have some indoor grow licenses for folks who, who got a green thumb, uh, processor, distributor, uh, and micro business. There is a fee to apply for social equity applicants. It's $500 for everyone else. It's a thousand people who have locations secured for a dispensary or micro business are being urged to apply by November 3rd to fast track the process. As New York's legal marijuana industry grows, the state is cracking down on illegal sales. Governor Kathy Hochul stating, quote, my administration is laser focused on shutting down illegal storefronts, protecting the health and safety of children and helping small businesses thrive. The main solution to this problem is to get these retail licenses into the hands of entrepreneurs so they can open up licensed legal compliant stores that pay taxes that contribute to our, our, our communities uh, and represent our values. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. Head over to cnyhomepage.com to find all the latest in local news, sports and weather. Now speaking of weather,